Welcome to this combo chart tutorial. I am Dr. Cooper and today I'm going to show you how to make a combo chart using Dr. Kashul's data in Google Sheets. Now from the data sheets you may have started with, there's a pretty significant change in how we're displaying this data. And it's because there's a limit in Google Sheets in how uh, text values can be presented on the x-axis. So instead of the year and the season being listed, I have converted the seasons to, if you look over here to the right, to numbers. So point one is for winter, point two is for spring, point three is for summer, and point four is for fall. So 2001.2 represents uh, 2001 in the springtime. So in order to interpret this data for the science notebook, first you need to be able to represent it in a way uh, that is easy to interpret. My suggestion is to use the combo chart. And here is how you would do that. You want to capture all of this data, so you would start up here in year, and then you can scroll down to G41, and while holding shift, hit the left mouse button to click, or your pad if you're working on a Chromebook that uses the pad instead. Now see we have the top row, which starts at A3, so it's row 3. And we have all the way down to G41, all of the data. So now that we've done that, we're going to insert chart. Now, as before, this comes up with uh, its best guess into how you're wanting to represent this data. This is not right, right here. Remember, we've got to take the series, remove it, and then add it to the x-axis. There we go. Now we have the years down here on the x-axis and we have the uh, salt values up here on the y-axis. So here's one of our threshold values, the level at which uh, fish will start being affected. Freshwater fish, some of them will die if they're in that much salt, which is a uh, thousand milligrams per liter. And of all the series, you see it's the urban area that gets the most. All right. But we're going to make this look easier or look better and be to be easier to interpret. So let's go over here to setup on the right and click combo chart right down here. It should be the third one along uh, the line section. Combo chart. Now I didn't change a whole lot except for if you notice now down here we have each season represented. It's not the prettiest way like Excel can do it, but I think it'll work pretty well for Google Sheets. But we're not seeing the combo part of this yet. So what we need to do is go to Customize and Series. And then let's go to Forested, which you can't even see, but that's flagged as a column. And let's go to Suburban. Let's change that to a column. And then we go to urban. And we can change that to a column. And for our baseline values, for our threshold values here, benchmark values, let's change those to be not colored like that. Let's do like a dashed line and make it like a gray and then we can do that for the maximum salt content allowed by the EPA. At this level, 250 milligrams per liter, that would indeed taste salty. We can use a different dash style and then give it another gray. And then the lowest value, which is the maximum allowable, not only in New York City, but many, uh, many cities, maximum salt content allowed. And let's change this to We'll change it to another kind of gray and give it another dash. Now we can see our benchmark values. We can see our, uh, our peaks uh, by column for each one except for forested. 
But we're not done with this yet. We need to finish dressing it up. Our legend looks okay. There's our forested, our suburban, and our urban. If you want to change these colors around, that's all you. And then we have uh, our, these other values here. Uh, but we don't have our x-axis label, our y-axis label, or a title that makes a little more sense than just throwing the title headers or the headers into the title. So we can click directly in here too. You don't have to go to the chart and access title, but you see it did open up on the right. So this is um, this is an example, Baltimore County seasonal salt content. All right, there's a basic descriptive title for the chart. And then over here, we can look at the horizontal axis, and this is in years. But there are also, uh, we'll put a dot seasons, and then just so that it's really clear, one, two, and we'll have a description here as into what these numbers mean are, and that's winter. Spring, summer, fall. So there, now we know that the years, and we have a little dot, seasons, where one, two, three, four are winter, spring, summer, and fall. So if we look at the winter values on the point ones, you see that those go really high. Meanwhile, for the y axis, this is going to be salt content. And then remember to always include the units when they're applicable. And they are here, milligrams per liter. So there's our basic combo chart for the seasonal salt content. That is the first part of charting now the second part uh, is going to be a little bit faster here because we can go to the next tab in the bottom of your workbook, Annual Average Salt Levels in Baltimore County. Now we can start doing the same thing here. So now we can highlight all this data as we did on the first tab. And we go to Insert, Chart. And again, this is giving us its best guess for what what we're looking for and it does a fairly good job now you notice this time it didn't try to include the gears as a series it instead correctly put it on the x-axis so that's nice now a title annual like the title of the tab down there is fine annual average salt levels in Baltimore County So the horizontal axis, that is year, and the vertical axis, that is salt content in milligrams per liter. Since we did it on the other chart, it is still uh, saved in the sheet, so it suggested those for us. Now we can go back to chart style here, or I'm sorry, setup, and go to combo chart so that we keep it in the same uh, visual style that we have the other one. So we go forested area is a column, suburban area, and so suburban area we can change that to columns, and then urban area we can also change that to columns. Then that gives us a picture of what's happening over the years if you average um, all the values for the years. So um, again, but our other other um, Changing these benchmark values here to grays. Well, we might as well use sort of similar dash. Kill some freshwater fish, maximum salt content. Like that. That's the same. And that's okay. It's not really a big deal, but I'll change them anyway. Here, and then we got another gray. So we can do this like this. And we have our labels. 
So then we could take this, and I'm not going to cover that in this tutorial, but you have your two graphs now that you can use to help you answer these questions here if you have not yet answered those. So I hope this was helpful and that this will help you knock this assignment out. You can let me know if you have any questions.